As long as people have been going near the oceans, they've known that there are things in the depths that we don't understand that are fascinating and some of them are enormous. And one of those things is very, very large squids that live in the deep sea that we almost never get to encounter. I'm Dr. Kat Bolstad from Auckland University of Technology. I run the AUT Squid Lab. I'm here today in Wellington at Te Papa, which is New Zealand's National Museum. Te Papa has got the only complete colossal squid specimen on display anywhere in the world as part of their Te Taio nature exhibition. This colossal squid was encountered in the Antarctic when it came up feeding on hooked toothfish on a long line. The captain recognized the opportunity to save this specimen for science, brought it on board the ship and brought it to Te Papa where we had, first of all, the chance to examine it and second of all, the chance to prepare it for this unique display. The colossal squid, Mesonicotuthis hamiltoni, is the heaviest invertebrate in the world. We think the colossal squid can grow to lengths of about 20 feet and weights of about 1,000 pounds. The first colossal squid specimens were discovered in 1925 and they actually came out of the stomach of a commercially hunted sperm whale. At our best estimate, about 80% of the sperm whale's diet in the Antarctic is made up of colossal squid. Now the squid is unique in that it has these hooks that can swivel 360 degrees in either direction. And we don't know whether it can actively control them to try to turn them or whether they can passively turn as it's latched onto struggling prey just so that the hooks don't get torn out of the tentacles. The arms and tentacles are quite muscular. The head is quite firm because it's got a block of cartilage on the inside. The mantle on the other hand is very soft and jelly-like and feels a bit like handling an enormous jellyfish. So here we have some bits and pieces from an earlier specimen. We have some innards and we also have the beak still in place in the musculature. This is the natural position for the beak. So this is the lower beak, this is the upper beak. So the two halves of it work together. The upper fits into the lower and makes kind of a shearing scissors action. The colossal squid has got the largest known eyes in the animal kingdom. They can reach diameters of about 35 centimeters or 15 inches. Most of the eye actually sits behind that skin inside the head, and that opening is about the same proportion as the human pupil to the rest of the eye. We actually know more about the surface of the moon than we know about the seafloor on our own planet's oceans. And there's no evidence for a larger cephalopod than the colossal squid and it represents an opportunity for us to have this charismatic poster child for the Antarctic to make people care about the oceans and taking care of them. <laughs>